What's up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and today we're going to explain to you how to get started with creating React Native applications using Expert Tools. Now before we get started using Expert Tools, let's explain what they are and why you'd want to use them. So Expert is free and open source, which is great if you're learning because you've probably spent enough on your education. And this means you can use it without worrying about spending another cent. Now, the great thing I find about Expert Tools is you can develop for all platforms, that being iOS and Android, on any operating system. So you can develop iOS and Android applications using Windows, Linux, or Mac OS easily. Another nice thing about Expo is when you want to demonstrate your apps to friends and family, you can easily share it using the Expo platform. Now, this is great because it doesn't require you to upload your APKs to an app store and deploy it, which obviously is a costly process. However, if you do want to deploy to an app store, Expo allows you to easily create app store builds using a single command line. This makes your deployment process so much easier. That said, once you've deployed an app to the App Store, you can instantly update it via the Expert platform. If you just publish your app, it will automatically be updated on the App Store, unless there are some bigger changes which you need to actually do things yourself for. Now, the best part that I find about Expo is the fact that you don't need to use Xcode or Android Studio. Now, trust me, if you've used these, you'll find out that they can cause some serious headaches and you've got to worry about cross-platform development and all that, Expo makes this easy. Expo also comes with some really great built-in packages which you can check out in the docs, but I do recommend them, they work like a charm. So in order to download and install Expo, we're gonna to need to download and install Expo XDE, Node.js, and Git in case you wanna actually work with some of my projects that I might demo in the future. So here I am at Google, as you can see I'm South African, the first thing we're going to want to do is get Expo XDE. Just straight up Google it. And there the first thing you'll find is Expo.io and that's where we want to go. Now we get here and you go to download our tools. Now depending on what operating system you're on, you just click one of these buttons and it will download the appropriate installation files for you. Then you just simply click the EXE and go through the standard installation instructions. The other thing we're going to need is Node.js. So just Google that as well. You should find it here, nodejs.org. And you want to download the version 6.11.2, which is recommended for most users. Version 8.3.0 will also work, but I mean, let's just play it safe and go for that. Then the last thing we're going to need is Git. So simple, just search Git. You should find it there. It's the first thing that pops up. Click on Downloads. And again, select your... If you're on Mac OS, go for it. If Windows, go for that. If Linux, go for that. And you should get the EXE download going right there. And then just follow the installation instructions for all of that and you'll be ready to go. Right, so now I've got Expo XDE opened up. And uh, ignore these, these are just a bunch of projects I've been working on on the side. What you wanna do is click on project and say new project. And this may take a little while to load. Okay, there we go, sorted. And let's just call this um, test for the heck of it. And I want to put this in documents. Yeah, I've got a little YouTube folder. And I'm just going to put that in there. And you can put it anywhere you want as long as you remember where you put it. Then we're going to click create. Now, this tends to take a while. So I will be right back as soon as this is done. Okay, so that's finally finished. Now, ignore all of these crazy logs and stuff. This is just me messing around trying to get my emulator working. So what you're going to want to do now is whether you're on Android or iOS, you're going to want to download the Expo XDE app. I'm going to put the links to those in the description, but you'll find them pretty easily on the Play Store and App Store by just searching Expo Client or just Expo itself and you should get it and you should get the logo that looks like that in the App Store. Um, then once you've got it set up, you will be able to actually run your pub, your project. You just have to click on device and say open on Android or iOS, depending on what you have. Um, I find that sometimes it doesn't work using the main host. So it usually uses tunnel by default. So I've switched it to LAN and that tends to usually work well for me. It just means I have to actually plug my device in, which does actually help a lot because it goes faster. So I've got this 
this genie motion emulator going here it's quite a mission to set up so i'm not going to go through that now but you'd rather want to just use your own device because your own device will work better um but now look we've managed to start this project uh you you didn't have to restart or anything you can literally just say device open on android and you will get it so here's my open application and this is my react application it's open it's it's got nothing on it because this is the default application that we have just set up and now i'm going to show you guys how to actually look into the code and see what's going but so far we have a working application you can deploy this and it will work which is really great if you test it on your phone it will work on your phone and that's this is the starting foundational steps here so good job in getting so far let's check out how we can look at the file structure right now right so here we are again at google our world's best friend and uh what we're going to need to do right now is we're going to need to write some code and in order to write a code we're going to have to write it in a text editor now i like to use vs code which stands for visual studio code so let me just type that in there visual studio code it should be the first thing that pops up and there's a download button for it there i'll also pop this link in the description for you guys now this will take us to the actual site provided my computer stops lagging around with this new emulator and doesn't matter what operating system you are on you can use windows you can use linux you can use mac that's the nice thing about visual studio code is it's cross-platform so i like to use windows and i just click on there and it will go through and use it now i've already got it installed so once you've got it installed it's a pretty straightforward process you just open this up and you should get this welcome screen here and now we have to open our project so we've got to go file open folder and now you have to remember we actually stored it now mine's not there mine's in documents under the youtube folder and there's my application i called it test i should have probably called it something better but we want to open this now if you remember the application that we were working on we had well, i'll go close this welcome window now we had open up app.js to start working on your app so here's our folder well basically our whole application is right here and here's our app.js so this is basically the application in a nutshell right now it's just a view with some styles in it let's ignore that and we have some text saying open up app.js to start working on your app and this is basically our application um there's not much else in there the assets are there those are the app icons so that's your default app icons there there's some expo folder stuff that you don't really need to touch at all just leave that as it is because that will be monitored over here then we have the node modules which also there are tons expo has got them all there i'm not going to even scroll down there you don't have to touch those at all and then we have this babel rc there's just some presets for babel which you don't have to worry about either get ignore it's for if you're using get what folders to ignore you want to ignore the node modules you want to ignore the expo stuff that all of that you just you don't want that to be stored in version control watchman config is for ios development you don't really need to use it that just has to be there then again here we have our app and we have our app json which has some details about our app you're going to want to change this now and then regarding dealing with permissions or managing what icons you want to use etc all of that it's just settings things that you need to change and then your packages and this has to do with your your node packages here dependencies etc most of this you'll get to do it here's author let me just change this to barry michael doyle because that is my name and now i'm the author of this project officially and you just control s to save it and there we go it's saved and because i'm hooked up with github and stuff it will manage all my changes here and i can commit it if i want to but this is you don't have to worry too much about this you'll get to know this as you use it more and more over time but now i just want to show you this is exactly how our app is going so this code over here is what causes this to work and that's how we got started using expo so i'm going to be making more videos coming up uh i'll chat to you about them later awesome guys that sums it up for today uh thanks a lot for watching and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more i'll definitely be posting more tutorials on how to do this stuff and i'll keep the description updated and i'll throw annotations all around the screen linking to the newer videos as they come out cool guys keep well ciao